So let's add uh, an example of the third type of survey that we can have in our Moodle course. Switch editing on, add an activity, choose the survey. This time we will choose one of the Coles type surveys. Now Coles simply stands for Constructivist Online Learning Environment Survey. And the idea here is that we are looking at a number of statements that will help us address certain questions around our course, which are essentially uh, how relevant is the course? Does the course promote reflection, interactivity? What is the level of tutor and peer support and interpretation around how, how the participants and in fact the tutor and peers interpret information you know through primarily forums i guess so the reason i'll come to the reason why there's three versions of this but basically i'm just going to add a preferred coles survey as always we would give that a clear description uh, of why we're asking for this and, and how the data will be used clearly we need to give it a title as well something that will make sense to people and again as with the other survey types there's really nothing else to set here these are just all common settings for different modules within Moodle it's really just the survey type that we have to decide on so we can return to the course and see that our Coles survey is now added and as I mentioned you know we need a nice clear description of what this activity is about there's a prompt to remind people that everything has to be answered and then the six different groups of uh, interest if you like or the six different areas around relevance so again students will will choose on this scale from almost never to almost always where they feel that statement best reflects uh, their own perspectives so we've got relevance reflective thinking the level of interactivity tutor support and peer support and then interpretation at the end of this survey there is an option or in fact you do have to choose uh, how long the survey took you that in itself may even provide interesting information for you and a space for any other comments so again as with all these surveys it's really important to see it from a student perspective so let's go and see that so again here we are logged in as sylvester the student within this course filling in lots of lots of surveys um here's the cold survey so the student will click on that read the description and then work through these questions selecting the answers that that uh, best reflect his actual perspective on these things and it is useful to have those different headings to help the students think about well you know i'm answering i'm thinking about and answering information about peer support here about the other people on my on my course in my particular group so the student will work through those decide how long it took him and then perhaps add further comments if necessary again click on ok to complete that Thanks for answering the survey, Sylvester, and continue. And as with the other survey types, Sylvester can then click on that to review his own responses. Again, right now, he's the only person that's completed this survey so far, but he will be able to see the average, and uh, clearly at the moment, there's not much of an average in there. So again, as always, with these surveys, to get a real feel for how it works, you do need to complete the survey as a number of students yourself, you know, demo students, or, or actually try it with a real group. And then let's go and have a look at what the teacher sees. Here we are logged in as the teacher again, logged in as myself. Just to um, clarify, the three different versions of the Coles survey. So generally the idea of the developers would be that you can administer a preferred Cole survey early in the course maybe not right at the beginning but early on and that will help you understand what the learners prefer what they think they prefer 
And then perhaps towards the end of the course, you could run either an actual or a preferred an actual survey to see how that may have changed. So, so you may see different results from how the course actually worked as, as opposed to what the students would have preferred. So that, that's why there's the three versions. You can read more about that on Moodle Docs and um, and indeed the developers' uh, pages about how they envisage that. But in simple terms, that's the idea. Preferred is, is what people think they might like and actual is what really happened on the course. And then you can combine those as well. So looking from a teacher perspective, if I wanted to look at the preferred and actual, well, actually, we'll do preferred. That was the one Sylvester just completed. And again, we can see the five survey responses. And now we perhaps begin to see when we drill down into some of these scales and questions, we begin to see how this data can can show us some interesting perspectives on our course about how people are experiencing that yeah and this is all preferred data because it was a preferred option now interestingly uh, the, the survey type that I think is potentially the most useful is the preferred and actual where we're combining these things together and when we look at that we then start to see where there's a difference or a disconnect perhaps between what people would have preferred or thought they preferred to what actually happened on the course so perhaps uh, if we just take this first bar as a as a typical uh, entry data point if you like is that the the preferred is the um you know, is the orange bar that people would prefer that information is relevant but in fact when they're in the course they actually find that that it's, it's shifted towards more often so we can see these various different scales and questions and and how that data has shifted in some cases quite significantly now again i'm just simulating this data these are not real students this is not a real course but you can imagine that if you had, you know, a dozen or 20 or 50 students actually completing this, it would start to give you some very interesting data relating to, well, I, I you know, I would prefer the, my peer group to understand me. And when we get to the course, we see that, oh, I think that my peer group really did understand me. So that's quite a shift there in terms of, of that. Um, that average of how people felt about their peers understanding them and here would be a, a kind of opposite example of where you know we prefer that the teacher understands me and demonstrates that through the forums but perhaps the actual uh, the reality of, of this course was that they they felt that, that was lower than their preference it was it was mainly sometimes but not often so we can start to see how this data could be useful in interpreting how, how students are, are, are progressing and, and thinking and feeling through this course. And as with the other survey types, you can drill down into the individual data of those questions and how they were responded and how that's changed in a, in a view like that. And of course, uh, drill through individual students and download those details again for maybe making uh, more attractive graphs in Excel or comparing the data from two different courses, uh, all sorts of things that you can do once you've got that data. <laughs>